Okay, so um, a developer, a second developer, a third developer, uh, a chief technical officer, you're gonna need that. Uh, ooh, okay, um, a conversion, uh, a conversion optimization specialist, that's important. A growth marketer, uh, talented writers, and editors, they can you know overlook these writers. These are the things that you should be spending your money if you're developing a product, especially if it's a software as a service, not on keyword research. Okay, I know I'm exaggerating, but I really do think that, and I'm saying this uh, from a bit of an experience in the past um, in the past couple of months uh, when it comes to product development. And um, I really want to talk about how uh, there can be a really great way for you to overcome uh, creating content ideas and then publishing content if you are uh, uh, if you're a SaaS business. Uh, my name is Boen. I'm director of SEO at Content Distribution. And in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you how you can automate keyword research uh, so you get all of your ideas for content production up front. And you can actually calculate all of your costs. You can actually plan out what you want to do. And you can actually plan out um, you know, what is it going to give uh, back to you. So let's just jump in and then we can uh, then we can go into details. Give me a second to share my screen. All right. So I'm going to run this simulation by um, I'm going to run this simulation by imagining that I am a product development uh, company that is making um, a software as a service that provides analytics. Um, and that's exactly how I'm going to start my research in Ahrefs. Analytics, let's go. I am going to choose having same terms as a function here. And sure enough, um, so I'm looking at the results for United States. Sure enough, I'm going to be greeted with, uh, in this case, half a million keywords. This is just huge to research. This is huge to go through, especially when you don't uh, really understand what is the audience that you want to um, get in front of. Uh, what are the keywords that are going to be, you know, middle of the funnel or bottom of the funnel? And do you, is there merit in doing, you know, top of the funnel keywords, right? Since I'm doing this simulation, this is kind of a hybrid of a B2B and B2C. There's a lot of uh, people that are just going to be employees in companies that really want to have maybe this uh, little app that I'm using that's going to be, you know, integrated into uh, their uh, other daily routines. So maybe this is going to be an even um, you know, a more interesting example because we can see those various types of content in terms of in terms of the funnel, right? Um, so here's what I want to do. Uh, for this simulation, I'm going to include keywords that are tool, tools, then software. And I want to do uh, Google. Um, if your question is, do I, can I do Shopify? Can I do Wix? Can I do something else like this? Yeah, the answer is yes. But for this simulation, I want to be focused on one single content series. And I want to be focused on Google Analytics and the stuff that my uh, app is going to reproduce from, uh, from this uh, powerful tool. Um, let me see if I have forgotten something from my notes. No. Oh, yeah, I've forgotten the most important thing, data. Cool. Let's see what's, uh, what's there. Okay, 179 keywords. This is much better already. Uh, the next thing I want to do is explore this list a little bit. I want to, you know, take the time to uh, understand. There we go. I want to take the time to understand what are the things I want included here and or not. Uh, maybe there are, you know, things that are really too much of uh, something that I want to, you know, uh, focus on. And what I can see here is that, yeah, this looks kind of okay. But there are going to be things that I maybe want to exclude, like data science. Is that huge? Or do I want to, uh, oh, Google Analytics API. This is good. Tracking code. Let me show you. But these are also really precise words. This is also really, really nice when it comes to Google Analytics. 
Okay, cool. Let me show you what I ended up when I uh, prepared this. What were the things that I just found by going through the first uh, 50 or 100 keywords in this list in Google Analytics? I'm going to show you here in my notes. So what I wanted to exclude here is Excel, then stock, topological, medical, medicine, health, healthcare, internship, job, and salaries. This is going to exclude keywords that I really don't need in order to you know, continue my research and Python as well. This is a huge thing in data science. I don't want them for this content series. And that's what I'm going to exclude here. Um, I'm just going to paste all of those there. Uh, it's not you know, a much lower number, but I have excluded things that I don't need in my analysis, OK? Next thing I want to do to refine this list, I want to exclude all of the keywords in this huge Ahrefs database uh, of keywords which have volume less than 10. Um, they are just too many of them. Some of them are not so relevant. And I want to have a low volume keywords like 10 or 20 in Ahrefs in my analysis, but I don't really want to focus on these, uh, these really low volume keywords, especially new ones. And I'm going to end up with 10,000 keywords. And this is uh, basically the average size of you know, what I used to do when I did a lot of manual keyword research. This would be, this would be a base of keywords that would need to be you know, now um, manipulated by a lot of specialists and a lot of researchers, researchers and that is uh, completely fine. Uh, but uh, I am not going to do that. I'm, today, I'm going to use Cluster AI. And Cluster AI is a keyword grouping tool that has been battle proven by our, um, by our own content uh, publishing efforts. And to contextualize a little bit of what that means, uh, that is, well, this is freaking bright. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, this was the first project that was handled by Cluster AI. Uh, it was a new website where 200 pages were published in just six months. And sure enough, after a year, we reached 100 organic visitors per month for those 200 pages. There was no link building. There was no social media outreach, nothing. Everything happened through organic. Every link that is that led to this website uh, was created just by people searching and finding and linking to uh, this content. This kind of, uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, result was possible by grouping keywords and getting keyword, you know, topic ideas uh, from Cluster AI that I'm going to show you in a second, and uh, publishing velocity. And when people ask me what is the best publishing velocity, I'm always going to say, of course, the faster the better. But this contextualizes uh, things a little bit, right? This is the number of uh, pages uh, that we published in this amount of time, so 206 months. And those are the only two things that can guarantee you these kinds of results. And I want to show you that something similar happened with B2B SaaS, uh, where we published 70 pages and we got to almost 50K a month in, um, in uh in a year, uh, B2B is a different kind of uh, production process. Uh, it's, uh, there's a lot of low volume keywords, but ones that are highly, um, that convert very much because you are really answering the intent of uh, the people you're working with. But let us get back to the topic of our, uh, uh, of our video today. And, I'm and that is grouping these uh, keywords, automating keywords for this, uh, my imaginary analytics tool. What I'm going to do here with these 10,000 keywords, I'm going to export them. And that is the exact um, file that I am going to just put into Cluster AI if this, OK, awesome. And this is Cluster AI. It works just really simple. It's going to get more beautiful, I promise. But uh, the, uh, the actual efficiency and the actual how to is going to stay the same. And that is you drag and drop your keyword list. You select where did you get your keyword list from. We support SEMrush and Google Search Console. Uh, in a couple of weeks' time, we are expecting to roll out um, a custom keyword list so you can do your list from wherever uh, you would like or just manipulate them on your own. I'm going to select that. I'm going to leave the Google for .com because that's what I was researching, US. And that is basically it. Um, I just need to click Submit. 
and a list of 10,000 keywords is going to be processed um, in an amount of time that is between uh, one and three hours, depending on the number of requests that we're currently handling. And uh, since I've done this to prepare for you guys, I wanna show you what the deliverable looks like. And here it is. Um, this is uh, what Cluster AI will give you back when you import your keyword list. It is, uh, and we're calling it a key the keyword opportunity analysis because it gives you opportunities on the pages that you can uh, publish. The first column is gonna be your main keyword, which is the highest volume keyword in a grouping. The third column is going to be all of the variations which Cluster AI group together. And then the column in between is the aggregated volume of all of the keywords. So you understand your opportunities in terms of search volume. Uh, and that is fetched from Ahrefs or SEM Rush or impressions from Google Search Console if that's what you uploaded. And that is the only thing that is fetched from those uh, tools or from your keyword uh, list that you imported. Everything else are AI fetches from uh, Google search engine result pages. We take each keyword that you import and we analyze each and every one of them for uh, result pages, compare them amongst each other, and then group them to give you the best possible chance to rank. And I wanna show you just briefly um, here that I have highlighted one row. So basically one row is a one page idea. It does not necessarily mean that it's going to satisfy all of your uh, is going to satisfy your needs. Maybe something there's something that you're not going to publish and there are things that you're really going to like to publish. I've highlighted just two things. And people who are um, um, have been following the channel since we started this, I did not forget about preparing a video for you on how to optimize on page uh, that's going to come, but I'm going to address that super short in this video as well. Um, also, make sure to comment uh, uh, automation, um, sorry, um, automating keyword research rules. If you want me to send you this uh, export and you can actually check it out by your, on your own time. Um, now I'm just gonna look at this um, one uh, suggestion that I highlight. How to use Google Analytics. If uh, you look at the variations here, people ask me how I'm going to import, how am I going to optimize the page for all of these things? Well, if you look closely, a lot of these variations are really just variations on uh, you know, the similar, um, the similar thing. This is going to be a huge page. This is going to be an uh, ultimate guide to Google Analytics. And, you know, I can see that already by just looking at these variations. But um, if I go into Ahrefs to actually check uh, who is ranking on this, it is going to be uh, your usual suspects. Uh, I promise you it's going to be Google for sure for a couple of uh, uh first spots and that is fine. But then we can actually see Search Engine Journal, uh, Business News Daily, Kinsta, and then uh, HubSpot. And as you can see, they are, you know, having always a huge guide on how to use this. And this is something that you can achieve if this is something that you want to do. Uh, surely it's going to take, you know, a much more um, higher quality content, let's say, than this one here, but this one looks so already great. You know, it has all of the usual, all of the usual suspects when it comes to radiations, you know, what you can learn, uh, you know, then, then this nice, um, in content, um, um, table of contents, you know, with, uh, these lovely anchor texts, uh, that will drive you to that part of the article and so on and so on and so on. And this is something that you can achieve as well. And a way to do that, and that this is the brief part that I'm going to be talking about, is to choose one of the angles of the same intent. So maybe you start with focusing on Google Analytics for beginners and then structure your post like this. And as time passes by, you can re-optimize this content by adding more content. You don't have to you know, start right away with, with the 5,000 words ultimate guide, if that makes sense. Because why? Because you chose to try to rank on this huge page. There's something else that's gonna give you a chance to rank for such a, uh, such a huge page. And that is all of the supportive content that you already have up front and you know that you have it. And that's something that somebody else does not. Sorry. So this is just me searching for Google Analytics because I wanna show you all of the 
stuff that's really interesting that is grouped for you. Um, let me show you. So for example, uh, look at the, all of the so all of the stuff that can be a separate page that you don't have to think about whether you need to incorporate this in other pages. So here's an interesting thing. There's going to be a separate page about the dashboard. Uh, you're going to have to, you're going to create a, you know, well, I'm going to create a special page for Google Analytics event tracking. Um, then I can have a separate page for Shopify Google Analytics. So I can track this as well. That is very interesting. Next thing, Google Analytics pricing. This is something that I can skip, right? This is not important for my own uh, business, what I have set up to do. Um, I can write a piece about sessions. I can write a piece uh, about troubleshooting, not showing data. These are all the, all the things that I can do to educate uh, the huge base of my potential customers, because those are all of the people who are using Google Analytics, and there's a lot of them, and you can see that uh, right here, you know, by just looking at the volume. And let me show you a second page. This is a really specific one, which I like, and I just chose chose it as an example, and that's Google Analytics filtering. Filtering. There is such a clear path for you to optimize this page and create this content because you have all of the variations that are gathered right here. You know, and again, there is a clear angle that you can focus on. How can I add a filter in Google Analytics? Uh, in what order are they applied? There's, you know, frequently asked questions. You can actually build this article to be perfection in terms of content. And surely enough, you can rank with this without backlinks. And that is something that we have proven through our own uh, projects. You just need to focus on publishing a number of pages where you can actually create a network all of all of that supporting content. Okay, um, that uh, is going to be uh, basically it uh, for me for today. Uh, I want to thank everybody who's here live. Uh, guys, please stick around. I cannot wait to hang out. Um, everybody else, we just published a huge case study where we uh, talk about how we uh, drove a project from zero to half a million organic visitors per month um, in uh, 16 months. Uh, and if you want to have that case study, make sure to uh, comment uh, backlink suck. And I'm going to be sending them to you. Uh, thank you very much. And I'm going to be seeing you next week. I'm preparing a lot of different content, not just these research challenges, but they're going to continue. That is for sure. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Peace.